a lot can change in two months. Love can be found and lost and found again. The whole world can go from mourning the loss of a great literary mind to completely forgetting about it when someone else way more famous dies. Donald Trump's candidacy can go from something funny to something very, very real. And Manchester United can go from finishing fifth in the Premier League under LVG to becoming a force once again under Jose Mu motherfucking Reno. I mean, look at that. Have you ever seen something more beautiful? Have you ever feasted your eyes on something so delicious? The answer is not yet. Because what will even be more beautiful is seeing that man lift the Premier League trophy with the coat of arms of Manchester on his chest. Gone are the days of David I have no idea what I'm doing Moyes. Gone are the days of Louis water bottling it right up Bengal. The era of Jose the special one Mourinho has begun at Old Trafford and it is divine. Sadly, it is not only the arrival of the best manager in the world, but also the departure of a club legend, which marks the start of a new era. After 29 years of being the Manchester United's greatest ever servant, Ryan Giggs has left the club. Some have thought such a day would never come as he was touted to become manager after Sir Alex retired. And to be honest, that thought crossed my mind more than once, imagining Ryan take the reins to become Sir Alex 2.0 and leading us to another 20 plus years of decadence and, and unbridled success. However, it was not to be. He spent too many years as a player to take over directly after Sir Alex, or whether the board was just simply too worried about handing someone an experience the keys of the kingdom, he never got the full manager position that he dreamed of. After playing second fiddle to Moyes and then LVG and realizing that with Mourinho incoming, Becoming manager is just too far away, and he decided to say goodbye to the club he's known for almost three decades. The chapter may be over, but the book is not closed. Mourinho won't be manager forever. Gigs can get the manager experience he needs, and it's very possible he will yet become the manager of this great club, his great club. Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs, running down the wing. Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs, running down the wing. Feared by the blues, loved by the reds, Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs, Ryan Giggs. But this is not the time to mourn what once was. This is time to be excited for what's ahead. We've got the manager who is hungrier than ever to show the world just how special he is. And with one signing, he's begun to show that before even a single preseason match. I know you've already heard the news because this news is almost as big as the man himself. United have signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Or Zlatan has signed United. <laughs> everyone made that joke. Seriously, everyone. But that just goes to show you just how enigmatic and incredible this man is. Everyone knows Zlatan is one of the best players in the world. Even at 34, he's one of the most amazing talents currently playing the beautiful game. I'm not going to be one of those people who starts quoting stats and proclaiming what he's done because, well, he doesn't need it. The man needs no introduction. He's been doing what he does for so long and with such panache that you already know who he is and what he can do. So instead of talking about how many goals he's scored, how many championships he's won, etc., just check out that goal that he scored versus England. Just do that. The great thing about having Zlatan sign for United, apart from the obvious of having one of the world's best players sign for your club, is he loves Mourinho. He and Mu have worked together at Inter Milan and Mu got the best out of Zlatan there. They love each other. We love them. Having Mourinho is a clear sign that United will be a force to be reckoned with, but having Ibrahimovic as well is a statement of intent that United are going after the Premier League title and everyone better watch out. But Mourinho is just getting started. He knows the United squad needs much more than an overhaul than just one superstar striker. He's already signed Eric Bailey, a young center back from Villarreal who I admittedly don't know much about, but from what I've seen, he seems to be the exactly the kind of uh, player that Mourinho loves. He's strong, young, quick, is able to, to take direction, and I'm not worried at all. No worries there. We've also just signed Henrik Mkhitaryan the attacking midfielder from Dortmund. His quality is without question. He was voted Bundesliga's players, 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 player of the season last year. And he can play centrally and on the right, both of which areas United need improving. And best of all, he was dying to play for Manchester United. He will be a fantastic addition to the squad as well. A lot can happen in two months. The human race can make an amazing discovery about the origins of the universe. Cleveland can go from the mistake on the lake to NBA champions. People can go from complaining about the iPhone to standing hours in line to buy the S version. 
and Manchester United has gone from being a sinking ship to being a rocket ship ready to launch. The new era of Manchester United has begun.